put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. But hey, if the video is just too long for you to watch, chances are I recorded a shorter version and the link will be in the description box. It's not an inferior video, it's merely a Cliff's Notes version of this very video. Black Moon Review. It is unknown to most of us regular people, but in reality, aliens are on Earth. Not many, and we're basically, you know, they come and go. It's not too big a deal. Keeping this secret are the men in black. They exist primarily to maintain the ignorance of the common man. And through the character of J, Agent J, Will Smith, we get a brief adventure in the world of the Men in Black. I should probably start by saying I've never read the comic, so I have no idea how this is as an adaptation, and I did not watch the TV show either. This, from start to finish, right from the opening credits and up to the final sequence before the end credits, this really hammers home the theme of perspective, that something being big doesn't mean it's important, and something being small doesn't mean it's insignificant. And it's also just a very odd film. It kind of plays a lot of it straight. So it's basically just another day in the job for some of the men in black. You know, basically Agent J, Will Smith, is the audience proxy. He's completely new to this world, as we are, and through him, you know, he, he gets, you know, he asks the questions that we're dying to ask of the other characters, and, you know, stuff is explained to him so that, you know, we know what's actually going on. But other than that, they're kind of just indifferent to it. It's just, and, you know, it's their job. It's, it's no big deal, you know. Who cares if there are these worm things, you know, in, you know, serving coffee and hanging out, you know, by the water cooler, basically. Eh, that's, you don't have that at your job, you know. And I, I should talk about the acting. Will Smith is charming as ever, and he's just, it's a really likable character, you know. I mean, one thing is that we just, you know, we put ourselves in his place as this, you know, the, with the kind of ignorance thing, but it's also just, you know, you really get a sense that this guy would join up, and he really seems intent on helping the people that, you know, are affected by the aliens. And opposite him, we of course have Tommy Lee Jones who's just, you know, he tends to play this old grouch, and he just does it remarkably well, you know, and he is awesome in this. I mean, it's not that unusual for him to be awesome, but he really is in this, and it does need mentioning. Linda Fiorentino is a fairly strong female character. She's not really the love interest, which is fairly interesting, and... I'm not sure I should really say more about her. And the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, this really isn't a spoiler, so I will just say that played by Vincent D'Onofrio, who delivers an unforgettable and probably unique performance as 
a space bug, a cockroach, that is hiding out in this farmer, basically, using his skin as a disguise. And it, I would wager that, I would wager a guess that this is not something it usually does, this bug. Because it doesn't seem very, or, or at least it doesn't usually use humans as a disguise. Because it has a lot of awkward mo movements and it's just this kind of, it makes sense, but it's not something you would think of do I mean if yeah if, if you were told you're a giant bug in a you know wearing a man you wouldn't necessarily think that movements would be exaggerated and awkward and that he wouldn't be able to just but it makes sense and it's yeah it is it is strange but funny this is an extraordinarily funny film it mainly is a comedy, you know, sci-fi comedy, action-adventure, really. And just so much fun is had with this, you know, underground of aliens living right in Manhattan, you know, with just, yeah, you know, cultural differences and very creative designs on the aliens and the various, you know, there, there's, you know, nice shiny sci-fi guns and stuff, you know. And yeah, it just, it does some things that you really wouldn't think and yeah, it's, it's exciting, it's engaging. You really get into the characters and the you know the dynamic between sassy Will Smith and you know grouchy and kind of you know blase Tommy Lee Jones is excellent you know I suppose that I should mention the score is a, a very Elfman-y Danny Elfman score, which, you know, very, very bombastic and just, you, you really get a sense that this is, you know, of, of, the, of the world and the, the alien nature of a lot of this world. And... Yeah, I suppose that pretty much does it. It's also very well paced. The movie is like 90 minutes long. It really doesn't overstay its welcome. And it's just a very cool peek into this completely different world that, you know, some of us expected and theorized about, but that, you know, we hadn't really seen full on before. Yeah, I suppose that's it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.